Welcome to the big interview. I'm Alan Murray with The Wall Street Journal, and I'm here with Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla, the electric car company, also of SpaceX, right. which is going to colonize space at some point. Well, well um, we certainly look forward to taking people to space, absolutely. Uh, uh, and also the inspiration for Robert Down Downey Jr.'s uh, Tony Stark character in the Iron Man movie. Um, yes, in certain respects. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we have a lot to talk about, but let's start with, uh, with Tesla. Uh, you now have uh, the Tesla Roadster on the road. I don't know uh, how many of them are there uh, out there. I think we're around 16 or 1700. It's an all-electric car. I had the opportunity to ride in it. Amazing acceleration. It seems to go from zero to 60 in about three seconds. Right. But it's not cheap. It's $110,000. That's not the answer to our energy problems. No, no, it isn't. Um, uh, what, what the Roadster's uh, greatest value is really is in breaking the, the misconceptions around electric cars, showing that you can have a fast, uh, cool, beautiful electric car uh, that goes long distances. Um, and so... Uh, in the next step, of How course, far does the, the Roadster go without a charge? Almost 250 miles. Wow. So that's longer than any other electric car on the road. Yes. So yeah. It's longer than any, any electric car in history. Um, in fact, the Roadster has set um, many world records in, in terms of its range. In fact, we've had one customer take it over 300 miles on a trip. Who was that customer, by the way? Um, there, were, there were actually two customers. Yeah. One, one was uh, a, a rally in uh, Australia. Um, it's actually technically 500 kilometers. Um, it's the first time that an electric car has finished that rally without recharging. Uh, and then another one was in, in Europe. You have a lot of uh, famous customers, George Clooney, right. uh, Larry Page uh, oh, yes. has one. Who You probably know most of the it's, 1,500 it's, 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 customers. <laughs> well, I, know, I know, certainly know several of them. Um, uh, but uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin are uh, both uh, early customers and, in fact, uh, uh, investors in, in Tesla. Yeah. So, uh, but so how, how, you were talking about how this is going to get us to the uh, yeah. uh, uh, energy solutions. I mean, 1,500 people, very expensive cars is a small step. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the biggest impact of the roads is really, is in changing the perception of what an electric car can be and showing that you can do amazing <laughs> things with an electric car that in fact uh, are better than, than, than gasoline cars in, in, in a lot of respects. The Roadster has better acceleration than almost any gasoline sports car. Um, so, the, and the result of the Roadster w was, in fact, uh, the, the, um, the Vault. Uh, Bob Lutz at General Motors credits Tesla with in the inspiration for the Vault. Really? Did he work with you to learn your technology? To do, uh, do you share your technology? Uh, we, we do share our technology. Um, ironically, not, not with, with General Motors. Not that we, we, we weren't willing to do so, but General Motors wanted to go their own way. Uh, but we do provide our powertrain technology to Daimler, for Mercedes and Smart, and, and to Toyota. Uh, and so... That we have the Mercedes, electric Mercedes A-Class now on the roads in Europe. We have the electric Smart uh, now in the U.S. and Europe. And next year, there'll be the electric Toyota RAV4. Uh, so your technology is spreading to, yes. to other car makers. Now, you're going to have a somewhat more affordable car out next year? Correct. Next year, we will have the Model S, which is um, <clears throat> about half the price of the Roadster, so about $50,000. Uh, and that's a, a full-size sedan about the size of a 5 Series BMW. Um, and, uh, but actually far more capable than, than, than other premium sedans. Will it accelerate as quickly as the Roadster does? <laughs> um, I think we will have a version that accelerates comparable to the Roadster, yes. Really? Yes. Which so will be, uh, our, our goal with the Model S is to have a, a, a performance version of the Model S that is the fastest sedan on the road. Yeah. Are people surprised by that? I think most people think of, they think of electric cars, they think of golf carts, you know, sort of. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, a, a we have one hell of a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you, mean, you really want to go on, the, you go on the golf course with this puppy, I mean, you're really going to get some good time <laughs> between the holes. <laughs> <laughs> and are, uh, do you find people are, are surprised that an electric car can do that? Um, they are. They are. And, 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 uh, and that's exactly what we're trying to affect, which is to, to show people Hey, you can have a, a you can have a better experience with an electric car than you can with a gasoline car. Yeah. So, how much does the environmental impact of of your cars depend on where the electricity is coming from? In other words, if you're if you're if you're drawing the electricity off of a coal-fired plant, is it still a good thing for the environment? You know, it, it actually um, is. Uh, e e even if you draw electricity from from coal or natural gas uh, or even di directly from oil. Uh, because stationary power plants are so much more efficient than, than, uh, than small gasoline engines and cars, um, the, an electric car actually ends up being getting more uh, 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 range for, for a given amount of, say, coal or oil that's burned than, than, a, than, a, 
than, than a gasoline car gets. So in other words, the CO2 per mile is, is actually less for an electric car, even if it's coming from a high CO2 plant. source like, like, like coal. Interesting. Now, now, of course, long term, we have to find sustainable power generation uh, and sustainable uh, transportation. Uh, but both sides of the equation need to be solved. Um, and, and even if electric cars weren't there, we still need to get sustainable power generation. Um, but but, it, but the, the great thing about electric cars is you can generate the electricity from a wide range of renewable sources like hydro, uh, hydro you know, uh, uh, geothermal, wind, uh, solar, uh, and uh, nuclear where it's safe to do so. Um, uh, you've gotten criticism, and probably more importantly, the government has gotten criticism for having made a, a substantial uh, guaranteed loan to Tesla at a critical uh, moment out of stimulus funds. It was like a, a, a half a billion dollars. And what the critics say is, why in the world should taxpayer dollars be used to fund a, a $110,000 plaything for George Clooney and Larry Page? Yes. Now, if that were true, it would be a valid criticism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, so, so, first of all, I should say that the, um, the loan that Tesla received did not come from stimulus funds at all. In fact, the loan program uh, under which Tesla uh, competed for, for loans uh, was actually um, uh, created and signed into law by George Bush. And so it existed prior to stimulus. It did. Uh, uh, but it's still taxpayer dollars. It, it is taxpayer dollars. Um, but it's, it's, it's very, very different from the, the stimulus funds or the bailouts or anything. In fact, one of the requirements under the under this loan program, which is called the Advanced Technology Vehicle Manufacturing Program, was that you had to demonstrate viability as a company independent of the loan. This is why General Motors um, and Chrysler didn't receive any funding under this program, because it's difficult to make that argument while you're going through well, bankruptcy. But you say, via, well, so they, <laughs> they were in bankruptcy. They couldn't make that argument. You weren't profitable at the time you got the loan. Uh, no, but we, we could demonstrate viability with the, with the Roadster. Would you have uh, had viability without the loan? Yes. You, so you didn't need the loan? We did not need the loan. Yeah. The, the loan, the, loan was, the value of the loan is really to accelerate uh, the progress of Tesla, n not to keep Tesla alive. Um, uh, although unfortunately, the time the timing was was, was unfortunate. So it's 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 fair that, that people would would have a, uh, would have a sort of a misunderstanding about this because the the announcement of, of the, the, t the loan that Tesla got, which and, and also uh, Nissan and Ford got got loans that were much larger than what Tesla got um, at the same time, but 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 w these loans were announced um, w right around the time that that there were bailouts taking place and there was a stimulus, and so pe it, people. Uh, naturally confused the, the, the two, uh, which is uh, unfortunate, but they're really quite different. And, and the other issue, uh, the other issue was that the loan was going to a very expensive plaything for the rich. C correct, and, and that uh, that is also uh, an incorrect perception. Um, the uh, the loan that we received was specifically for uh, the Model S program, which is um, you know much higher volume, lower cost. Uh, What's vehicle. the cost of a? What will the cost of a Model S be? About fifty thousand dollars. And how many Model S's will you be? Wh when when does it launch? Uh, we're expecting to go into production middle of next year. Middle of next year. Yeah, Twenty thousand units a year is the. Is the Twenty thousand a year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, a few, and a few other things that are noteworthy about the the ATVM loan. Um, of course, uh, it, we pay interest. It, it's a it's a, a reduced interest, but we still pay interest. Um, and if we don't pay the loan er, loan off early, uh, then um, there are actually stock warrants that the the government gets in Tesla. So. Hmm. So, so, so it's, 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 you, it's, it's, not a, it's a pretty good deal, and given, it's also senior debt. Yeah, so, given the criticism um, you've gotten from the, our editorial page, among other places, right. uh, do, you, do, you, do you wish you hadn't had taken the money? If you didn't need the money, do you wish you had done it without the government loan? Um, you, you know, we're really hell-bent on, on accelerating the advent of electric cars uh, and, and getting electric cars to the mass market as soon as possible. So half we'll, a billion dollars helps. We'll, we'll, it definitely helps, and we'll, we'll take a lot of heat uh, if if, it, if it's uh, in support of the greater cause. Um, and, and we did take a lot of heat. Um, and, and but I, I think um, in, in terms of uh, the editorial page, the, the criticism that we received, I think was 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 simply we didn't have an opportunity to to correct some of the misperceptions. Um, if um, say if Homer Jenkins or, or others had 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 actually understood the, the, the correct situation, I, I don't think they would have had, they would have been nearly as critical. Did you talk to Holman Jenkins? We, ex we exchanged some emails. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, uh, well, I'm not going to go there. This is the news side of the, uh, uh, of the organization. But, but let me ask you, 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 you say your goal is to get electric vehicles to the mass market. Yes. Are, are we going to get electric vehicles to the mass market through uh, uh, a, 
a startup entrepreneurial operation like Tesla, or are we going to get it there through Nissan, General Motors, Ford, et cetera, uh, taking up the banner? I, I think it's really going to come there through the whole industry moving towards le electrification. Um, so uh, I, I'm supportive of, of any move by, by any company to create electric vehicles. So I, I think it's great what, what Nissan is doing with the Leaf, what GM is doing with the, with the Volt, um, what uh, Daimler is doing with the, the electric Mercedes. Do you consider them competition? Well, I guess they're competition in, in, in a sense, but pretty indirectly. It's such a huge market that, that I, 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 we don't see people necessarily choosing to uh, buy a Volt or a Leaf rather than, than a Tesla. So we, we, I guess technically competition, but, but, not, but not in a significant way. Um, but uh, the, the overarching goal of Tesla is, is to get the, the, the industry to move towards electrification, uh, competition or not. And, and whether we do that with our own cars, with cars that we help other people make, as we're doing with, the, with Daimler, we're, we're producing um, battery packs and chargers uh, for the Mercedes A-Class, for the, for the electric smart car. Uh, if, or with Toyota, we're, we're producing the entire electric powertrain for the electric RAV4. We're just trying to move the industry towards electrification faster than it might otherwise go. And, and we're, we're certainly quite pleased whenever there's any announcement about another manufacturer producing electric cars. Uh, but there's clearly a, a strategy split among the big manufacturers. I mean, Nissan made this decision to produce an all-electric car. It yeah. hasn't sold terribly well. You talk, to, uh, you talk to Ford, for instance, they'll say they think hybrids uh, are the way to go. Do you have an opinion on who's right in that argument? Well, I, I, I strongly believe that, that the future is pure electric cars. Not hybrids. Not, not hybrids. I think hybrids are an interim step. Um, they're, they're sort of like uh, an amphibian. You know, it's when, when life was going from the oceans to land, there were probably a lot of amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's not the end solution. Um, yeah. You know, you, um, uh, I, I think you want to go all, all electric um, at, at, because that, that is the, 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 the truly sustainable path. Um, and I think if you split the, if you split the baby and you have a, a car that is trying to be a good gasoline car and a good uh, electric car, you end up being not as compelling as either a pure gasoline or pure electric. Uh, the one other thing we should talk about that I think people get some anxiety about is, is the charging. If they need to charge their Tesla, where can they do it, how can they do it, and how long is it going to take? Yeah, so with the Model S, I think we've got a great solution in that regard because you've got a range of up to 300 miles. Um, uh, you can actually charge the car in 45 minutes. Uh, the charger is built into the car. And the third thing is that uh, you can actually swap out the battery pack uh, faster than you can, you can fill a gas tank. So you can actually swap the battery pack out in under a minute. Uh, let, me, let me ask you a little bit about SpaceX, space sure. travel. I mean, I, I know you, you have rockets that are putting satellites up into space, but your goal, stated goal, is to get human beings up there, yes. even as the government is pulling out of the business and putting people in space. Why is that so important to you? Well, I, I just think that a future where humanity is a space-faring civilization out there exploring the stars is, in, is an incredibly exciting future uh, and inspiring. Um, and, uh, and, and so that's what we're trying to help make happen. Um, you know, we, I, I really want SpaceX to help make life multiplanetary. Um, you know, I'd like to see a self-sustaining base on Mars. Uh, Do you just, think that's really uh, practical? I, th I, think it's, I think it's possible, absolutely. How, how long is it going to take? When are you going to put your first uh, man into space? Well, I think, I think we'll probably put our first man in space in about three years. And when are you going to put your first man on a planet? Man or uh, woman? Well, I, I, we're going all the way to Mars, I think. That, that's what, um, Time frame? Uh, best case, 10 years. Worst case, 15 to 20 years. And you're sort of on your own in this uh, effort now. Are you going to build the colony as well when you get there? Uh, what's well, our goal is we, we want to be like the um, we want to be like the shipping company that brought uh, people from Europe to America, um, or or like the Union Pacific Railroad or something like that. You know, we, we, our goal is to facilitate uh, and and the the, 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 the the transfer of, of people and, and cargo to, to other, other planets. Um, and, and then it's going to be up to pe the people if they want to go. Uh, I mentioned at the outset that you were the inspiration for the Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark character. Did you work with him on that uh, in Iron Man, um, Iron Man 2? Well, he did interview me. I guess uh, he, I, I met with, uh, with Robert Downey Jr. Um, uh, just before they were, they were filming Iron Man 1. Um, gave him a tour of the rocket factory, showed him the, the electric car and everything. And, um, 
And I guess, and we talked about some of the, the possible scientific explanations for the, the, the powers that Iron Man has in his suit. Uh, like, you know, maybe you can harness the power of dark energy or something like that. Well, what did you think of the character? I thought it was cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've got, but I'm, I think there's also some important differences. I've got um, five kids. Yeah. Iron Man is sort of a swinging bachelor, you know. Um, I, I spend my weekends going to Disneyland. Uh, <laughs> that's I don't think, a little I don't bit think Tony different. Stark's doing that. That's a little bit <laughs> different. And, and you, I, before we leave, I should say, I mean, your personal life has been extraordinarily public. It has to be somewhat frustrating to you. I mean, I just this morning <laughs> noticed that CNBC mm. was rerunning their divorce no. special. Yes. Uh, <laughs> why is that? Ah. <laughs> uh. They're rerunning that. I can't yes, believe yeah, it. it was. No, I'm. Just, <laughs> I, 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 your ex-wife's uh, face was on the screen right before I came in here. So. That's horrendous. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> why has your personal life become such an uh, an extraordinarily public thing? <sighs> I don't know. I don't. I wish it wasn't. Yeah. Um, I, I think my ex-wife is sort of. Uh, she's a prolific blogger and writer and. You know, I think she she likes to talk about these things, and I I, I don't. Um, yeah. I, I decline to participate in divorce wars, enticing as that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we won't go any further with it here. But thank you very much for being uh, with us on the big interview. All right. Thanks.